But I, when you said that about being a man of God, it really, it did something to me. It clicked. One, because the idea of being a man of God means that you willingly submit yourself. Willingly. And young people today, you mentioned young people, but also older people, mm-hmm. people 40, 50 years old, I, they don't want to submit to nothing. They don't want to submit to nobody. And because of that, their life is just as out of order as a young guy that's 20 that doesn't even really know. Mm-hmm. It's that lack of willingness to have a, submit, a su- submissive spirit yes, sir. Mm-hmm. to the Lord. You know, the, the Bible tells us that Moses was the, what, the most meekest man meekest in the man. world. Mm-hmm. And yet he was, one, he was a, a man's man. Right. When you look at how he led a, um, a million people through the yeah. desert or he went before Pharaoh and stood before Pharaoh. He didn't go before Pharaoh like, I'm all so excited to go before Pharaoh. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> he, he, he went because the Lord told him to yes, go. Yes, sir. Right. And even when he was trying to make excuses, the Lord gave him, him an out by sending his brother. Right. But guess what? Who else had to obey? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. His brother right. had to say, Absolutely. okay. Right. I mean, they're both in the same Wagon, uh-huh. right? And right. Pharaoh still Pharaoh over Moses and over Aaron, uh-huh. right? And uh-huh. so either way, we see a clear example there <laughs> of what happens when you're a man of God. The responsibility of submitting yourself under the leadership of yeah. God, yeah, yeah. And and that's literally, you know, I think something that has to be talked about. And and I mean, and just thinking of it from a, a human standpoint, when Aaron and when Moses told Aaron. Yo, man, I got to go. That's what uh, I was laughing at. <laughs> he want me to. He, he wants you to go with me. <laughs> really? <laughs> he ain't tell me. It's like no. I ain't hear nothing. <laughs> That's what I was laughing. <laughs> and, 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 and so. I think it's important to point it out, though, the human side of it, because, yeah, you know, hey, Lord, is that really you? And you? You know, we we but after the Lord will make he will make himself know he's going to validate his instructions to you. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you said that, it, it just pointed to the it really drove home the point that not only was Moses submitted Aaron individually had to be submitted. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. He was already called right. to be something important, but now he was called to serve his brother. Mm-hmm. You know how in siblings they ain't trying to they ain't trying to serve each other. <laughs> you know that that you know like you said the human side we don't uh-huh. always consider the human side right. that submission one to another. You know, as a man, you yes, know, sir. Right. I ain't listening to you. That's why sometimes it's hard for people to work together. Exactly. Everybody wants to be the boss. Nobody wants to submit to leadership. Right. And so it's ruining our society. You see, I know, uh, Minister Ricky, which you, which you, you want to jump in here? Man, y'all, y'all, y'all speaking good, and I, I definitely don't want to, you know, drag this out any longer. But man, no, take but, your time. Yeah. But just to, man, just that scenario. Like, considering the history, like, Moses was on the run <laughs> mm-hmm. 40 years. Right. Then he returned. <laughs> I'm hearing the voice of the Lord. The Lord is going to use me to save the people. <laughs> like, bro, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> but I've, I've, I've been here <laughs> enduring, you know, servitude, being a slave. And then you want to give me instruction. <laughs> exactly. But the heart of the matter to say, I recognize that the, this is a God thing. This isn't a man thing. This is a God thing. And that whole story of Exodus, we look at it like it was Moses and Pharaoh, but it was really God versus their guys. You know, so the role that we play is really a bigger picture, mm-hmm. but we have to just submit like, we have to be able to submit. And I think that's the first step into being, you know, a man of God. We got to be able to submit in every scenario. You yeah. know, 